Joining us today, of course, is Lorenzo Cain and his agent, Damon Lapa, uh, General Manager David Stearns, and Manager Craig Council. Also joining us is Lorenzo's wife, Jenny, sitting here in the first row. And with that, we'll turn it over to David. Thanks, everyone, for coming today on, on short notice. Um, we are very pleased to announce uh, the signing of Lorenzo Cain and to welcome Lorenzo, his wife Jenny, uh, and his entire family back to Milwaukee. Um, as we evaluated our offseason this year, really dating back from August, September, and how to build on last year, how to uh, continue our path as an organization, and evaluate the different ways we could do that, we kept on coming back to Lorenzo. Um, Lorenzo's talent on the field is well known. It's well recognized throughout the league. He's one of the true rare five-tool players in baseball right now. He's a winning player. He's played and performed on the biggest stages in baseball. And we're certainly very excited to have him and his entire family uh, back here. Appreciate all the work that Damon and Lorenzo put into this process. Appreciate the support from our entire ownership group uh, to be able to make this happen. Um, congratulations, and let's get a Brewers jersey on you. So I'm certainly happy to answer any and all questions. I'll start. Lorenzo, for you, um, have you had a chance to kind of reflect on your career coming full circle, sort of back to where it began? Oh, uh, yes. Um, like I said, when I spoke to David early in the all season, um, once I found out that they wanted me, you know, they were in on me. Um, you know, a lot of memories came back. And I uh, just remember getting my first hit, you know, first call of the course, first home run. So uh, a, lot of good, a lot of good memories came. And um, it's definitely a place that I wanted to come back to um, and hopefully kind of do what we did in Kansas City. And uh, that's, in the, that's eventually, you know, hopefully going to the playoffs and uh, bringing the World Series back here. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd see this day again when, when you found out in 2010 that you were headed to Kansas City? I did not. You know, um, it, it, it did hurt a little bit when I got traded back in 2010. Um, definitely mixed emotions for me. And, um, you know, I just remember getting that phone call, finding out I was getting traded. You know, spending so much time in Milwaukee and, and the team that drafted me. So uh, it, was, it was mixed emotions, like I said. And, um, you know, it definitely, definitely hurt a little bit. But, uh, Get an opportunity to come back here and play, you know, with Milwaukee is uh, definitely a dream come true. If I can follow up on that real quick, I mean, obviously there was a big deal at the time they went to get Grinky. You're probably watching when they went to the playoffs in 2011. Right. Experienced it on your own, but the Royals won it all. Now the chance to come back and, and, like you said, try to do that again as a veteran leader. Are you looking forward to that opportunity? Yeah, you know, uh, with with everything, you know, uh, this is definitely a tough game and nothing's going to be easy. They was put together a really talented group, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. And uh, they said, just build on it. And uh, for me, you know, I'm just ready to get to work and, and get going. Lorenzo, you're like the first big breakthrough on the free agent market this winter. What's it been being out there on the in the ice age of free agency? It is. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to be out there too long. <laughs> it's definitely chilly out there, but. Um, <laughs> But um, like I say, I'm definitely happy I was able to, you know, get something done. Um, you know, it was definitely slower than expected this off season, but uh, definitely took longer than I expected. But um, as you see, it's, it's definitely, 
definitely not going as planned as far as you know guys jumping out and then signing you know quick. But um, Milwaukee was in on me from the get go. You know, so other teams as, as well. But uh, like I say once once uh, I got a phone call from David, you know, this was the spot that I wanted to be in. Craig, what kind of uh Plus, is it going to be to add Lorenzo into the mix in the clubhouse with the experience he has in the postseason, particularly? Well, I mean, I, from my perspective, we're we're just adding, we're adding a very, very good player um, and a guy that's um, that I feel like we know well, um, that has accomplished you know the height of the game, and that that's it's going to be meaningful. I think it, it plays a part into. You know, when we when we get this thing rolling, hopefully, and we're talking about games in August and September, and hopefully in October, that um, that he's certainly been a part of. So, it's another you know feather in his cap. Um, but he's he's bringing a lot to the table, and I think that's why we've been so interested from the start. Is that you know there's um, a lot of boxes. He's he's bringing everything to the table, and, and that's uh, those are players you want. Craig, you played alongside Lorenzo when he first came up in 2010. And what did you see then, and how has how has he developed since then? Uh, I was I was actually been thinking about that. What I remember, I, what I remember, um, the the thing that sticks out honestly is a catch he made in Cincinnati. Um, I don't know if he remembers. I'm sure he remembers it, where he. Um, <laughs> He, he kind of he went full speed into the wall and made an unbelievable catch late in the game to, to win us a game, and it you know it it was a play that some that a player makes that you know you, you don't forget it. I mean it's eight years ago. We were just talking. That's eight years ago. Um, but when you when you don't forget a play like that, and it's because you don't see people make plays. You don't see guys make plays like that. Um, it sticks with you, and that's I think it speaks to his defense that he's you know. Been, been so noted for over the last uh, his career, and um, it's it's really what sticks out that the defense, the way he runs after a fly ball. I know all our pitchers are, uh, you know, I know I heard Zach Davies broke his phone for Christian Yell, but <laughs> Zach Davies would be a happy man with him chasing fly balls. Lorenzo, that was the last day of August in 2010 when you ran that ball down against the Reds. What do you remember about it when you were crashing uh, on the wall? I remember waking up with a not on the back of the head, that's what I remember. Um, yeah, you know, that's that's what I pride myself in, in going out and making plays, you know. Um, defense is something I work, work really hard at and I want to be the best at it, you know. And uh, just being an all-around player is something that I strive to be and uh, being able to do a little bit of everything. So, uh, you know, that's that's always my goal every year, you know. And uh, say hopefully everything continues to go as smooth as, as, as it has been. Craig, to take the acquisition thing one step further, this is our first chance to ask you about Yelich, too. Um, in the one, two. Just what stood out to you about this team, the pieces they have, and just the opportunity to win here? Yeah, uh, like I said, I watched from afar um, last year, how close <clears throat> Milwaukee came, in and came to getting in last year. And um, like I said, just coming home. And uh, I feel like just being a part of this group, I uh, feel like I can add to it. And uh, hopefully put them over the hump and then give them the extra, extra boost they need to get where we need to be in the playoffs. Lorenzo, who uh, who were you as a player when you were traded away? If you can remember that far back, and who are who are you now? Um, uh, <coughs> uh, um, you know, when I first got traded, I was still learning, learning a lot. Um, you know, uh, a lot of guys took me under their wing and helped me, you know, pushed me to be the player I became. Um, so, uh, you know. From day one, I've just like I said, I've strived to, to be the all-around player, and um, like I said, I work hard on my craft, you know, each and every day, each and every year, uh, to find areas areas where I can improve, and, and um, you know, just just going out there being consistent is, is the biggest goal for me every year. Being consistent and uh, you know, being injury-free, you know, that's another thing for me. So, uh, you know, just just being an all-around player and, and doing what I need to do to help the team win.